welcome back in this uh, video lecture series we are in uh, electric field intensity now we are going to do electric flux and electric flux density okay lot of terms are entering into our pictures try to remember there is a charge q <coughs> q is nothing but energy charge energy has to attain the equilibrium by giving some radiation if i have a fireball a charcoal in a heat definitely it will emit heat okay if i take a match stick and if i burn outside heat is flowing like how a fire is giving heat a charge is going to give electric field please try to remember electric field what is its strength that is nothing but e okay who is e is nothing but strength can you go and catch this no it's just a imagination can you catch the heat no we can only feel can i catch this particular electric field no you can only feel then who is e called just an imaginary line called the sun so who is electric flux electric flux is nothing but imaginary field lines make a note of it electric flux is imaginary electric field lines it is a scalar quantity it is representation of electric field okay please remember i am repeating electric flux is a imaginary electric field lines it is a scalar quantity it is a representation of electric field then who is this psi psi is nothing but electric flux is it a imaginary yes it is just a imaginary so then if i give a fire it gives heat fire heat charge flux if a fire is a energy heat is also energy if more fire more heat less fire less heat more charge more flux it just a representation then i should say your q is equal unto psi okay we say this is charge which is available in a metal in a wire flux which is available in a free space if its unit is coulomb its unit also should be coulomb so the conclusion your flux is a imaginary field line it is just a quantity we call it as a scalar and its unit is okay that is what the important point you should know okay please try to remember now if you take in a small area okay you just have a cube and it is going to give some electric flux which is called as psi if you take a imaginary area obviously it is going in all direction so the area must be a sphere Okay, because it is going in all directions, it should be a sphere. When you took sphere, why not a cube by cube by? The uh, maximum volume with the minimum surface area should be the sphere. That is the reason the whole universe is uh, going in a spherical format. Okay, to attain the equilibrium. Then, flux per area is nothing but density. Okay, it's very simple. flux per area is nothing but density so based on that what is flux flux is nothing but imaginary field lines what is flux density flux density is nothing but flux per unit area what is flux psi what is area area of a sphere is nothing but 4 pi r square and that is going in radial direction so it should be a r cap unit because it is a direction because which area is important how you are going to take that area is the so let us take the definition electric flux density d it is measure of electric flux lines per unit area repeating it is measure of electric flux lines per unit area it is a vector quantity it is a vector quantity its unit is coulomb per meter square okay coulomb per meter square because numerator is coulomb denominator is meter square 
it is independent of the medium because there is no epsilon not came into picture okay please try to remember it is independent of the medium now i can say flux density d is equal to psi divided by 4 pi r square and a r cap since you know flux is nothing but charge you can also rewrite this as q divided by 4 pi r square a r you both are same because this is also a scale, this is also a scale. This is in the metal, this is in the free space. This is fire, this is heat, this is charge, this is electric flux. Both are the same. So if that is the case, you have told us already E is nothing but Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R square A R cap. Then what is the basic difference? It is strength depends on medium. Density independent of medium. Okay, remember so I can say finally uh, D is nothing but epsilon naught E am I right a simple relation you just put epsilon naught here put epsilon here gets cancelled you will get this okay so based on that we just got this particular simple relation okay so what are the points you should know it is a scale imaginary field this is vector this is vector this is density this is strength intensity Okay, this is intensity, this is density and both are related by the simple formula. Please make a note of this. We will do some problem now. A point charge Q 30 nano coulomb. Okay, a point charge Q 30 nano coulomb is located at origin in Cartesian coordinate. Find electric flux density find the electric flux density at 1 comma 3 comma minus 4 meter in free space also calculate its magnitude okay also calculate its magnitude so let us take a simple diagram so let us say x y z and 30 nano coulomb is at the origin. Origin is the event 0, 0, 0, 30 nano. Okay, 30 nano coulombs. And where I should find D, x axis 1, y axis 3, z axis behind is minus 4. So 1, 3, minus 4. So this is the point P. So due to this charge, how much is your D? I have to calculate. So what is your D formula is nothing but psi divided by 4 pi r square a r cap or you can also write as q divided by 4 pi r square a r cap. Now both are same okay q is available a r cap you should calculate okay. So the a r cap is nothing but a to b b minus a go ahead try to find out. So 1 minus 0 1 a x cap plus 3 a y cap minus 4 a z cap divided by root of 1 square plus 3 square plus 4 square okay so we can say uh, 9 plus 110 26 okay so 1 a x cap plus 3 a y cap minus 4 a z cap divided by root of 26 so the d calculation is nothing but q 30 nano into 10 power minus 9 divided by 4 pi into r square keep it pending a x cap plus 3 a y cap minus 4 a z cap divided by root of 26 then this should be 26 so it's r r square epsilon one is now try to calculate the whole term into a x into 3 into minus 4 you do it you will get the d vector then once you identify D, you should find the magnitude, then that particular magnitude will be root of that individual components whole square. The result will be 91.8 pico coulomb per meter square. Okay. The answer you should get. Try to make a note of that. We will do another problem. Find electric flux density D at 6, 8, minus 10 meter due to a point charge 40 milli coulomb located at origin 
and the uniform line charge rho L equal to 40 micro coulomb per meter along the z axis. The same type of problem we did for electric field intensity. Now we have to do for density. Okay, do the same calculation. D is equal to epsilon naught E. Just multiply by epsilon naught, you will get the answer. Okay, there is no more confusion here. Let us take the three axis. Let us say this is Z, this is Y, and this is X. A very sure 40 millicoulomb is at origin. It is at 0, 0, 0, where you have 40 uh, milli, 40 millicoulomb. And uh, along z axis, uh, 40 micro coulomb per meter. Now there is an infinite line charge whose value rho L equal to 40 micro coulomb per meter. 40 micro coulomb. So where is uh, D? D is at X axis 6, Y axis 8, minus 10. Okay, somewhere here. 6, 8, minus 10. What is that I should do? Try to calculate uh, this particular uh, point charge, let us say EP. And then the shortest distance you please try to maintain, which is EL. Then you please do E is equal to EP plus EL. Once you calculated E, try to convert to D. How D is equal to epsilon on E. That's all. A simple calculation if you do. You should get the result D is equal to 7.14 AX cap plus 9.52 AY cap minus 11.26 AZ cap micro coulomb per meter square okay this should be the answer you should get the same procedure you do it in the, as in the previous session multiply by epsilon naught you will get the answer okay so with this i would like to conclude this particular electric field intensity electric flux density topic thank you